Hello guys, welcome back to another Pixel World video. So today I am going to show you probably the best potential to be the rival with the basic class pack opening. Um, it is, yeah, it is probably the best potential to, um, to be the best item to recycle during the event. And the item is Nether Key Potion. And you have, maybe, maybe some of you um have already know this um i showed you guys uh, previously in the live stream and i found out that this thing gives a lot of points look at that 20 points without event and during the event it's gonna be 40 points and if you didn't know 4.5 points cost one byte coins so 40 points will worth about 8.8 .8 Bitcoin. So this nether key potion will give you 8.8 .8 bitcoins each in average. So um, I am going to show you how to make it. Um, simple, it is a potion, so it is made from the magic cauldron. And the and what makes it really good is that the ingredients that it needs. It only needs one black metal sheet, a bolt, one bolt, and a snail. And all of this only cost about I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure about the black metal shield, uh, black metal sheets, but we are going to find out uh, the price of it. And the bolt, it only cost about two per one byte coins or one byte coins each. And the snail, it costs about. Um, actually, it was one byte coins, but now it has rise a little bit to two two up to three byte coins each so so far if let's say it's two byte coins all right two byte coins and one byte coins so far it's three byte coins to make a nether key potion and all right let's let's find out the black metal sheet um i am going to show you the the recipe to make the black metal sheet um, I don't really want to keep saying shit, <laughs> so let's just say black metal, all right? So it, you need um, iron block and black brick, and um, I have I have found some BSP shop, and black brick are usually sold for um, 200, 200 per 250 bitcoins. So the rate is 200, and I've got some. So let's say I am going to plan, um, let's say 100, I think. All right, 100. And the iron block, it's, the rate is 35. 35 per 250 byte coins. So I got 180. I am going to make 100 as well. From 100 black metal trees, how many blocks does it give? And the seeds as well. So I am going to plan them all. Um, let's see the time that it takes to grow it takes okay only 17 minutes guys and don't forget that it's also farmable right it's oh no 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 it's black break um yeah it's uh, farmable with but with perk um it's still good though uh, okay i am going to to mix them all first okay so it's finished and while we're waiting, I think I am going to show you what makes it uh, better. So if you think that um, the profit is only from um, the 8 byte coins during the recycle event, because yeah, as you can see, it will give 40 points right during the event. But uh, what makes it better than the basic cloth pack opening, as you can see in this um yeah the wearables it needs 50 gems to open what makes it good is it is potion guys it is potion that means that you can take another advantage from other event which is the potion boost event so when the potion boost event comes you can make twice nether key potions so it doubles your profit Unlike the basic cloth pack opening, there is you can only rely on the um, recycle event, right? But this thing 
can be relied on two events. So first you take advantage from the potion boost event, which doubles your potion. So for example, let's say it's uh, we have to find out how much this thing costs. So we know how much profit from uh, every time we make the uh, Nether Key Potion. But I'm pretty sure it's less than um, about 2 Byte Coins each. So let's say you're going to use 5 Byte Coins for making one potion. And you will get one free Nether Key Potion every time you make it in the during the Potion Boost event. And that's what makes it really good. But um, because it's potion, you make it from Magic Cauldron. The downside is that you have to prepare a lot of Byte Coins just to make, you know, prepare a lot of Magic Cauldrons. So that is the problem. But still, it only takes 4 hours to make. It only takes 4 hours to make, so you have um, pretty long time, right? Um, the potion boost event lasts for 3 days so let's say you spend 16 hours so you make 4 potions from a, 1 magic cauldron so if you do it during the event you can make up to 8 potions but if you really if you really manage your time and you are able to make 24 hours of making potion that means you can make 6 times from 1 magic cauldron that makes it better so yeah, you can you can already imagine if one potion gives you eight byte coins, that means during the event, the potion boost event, you can get up to sixteen byte coins, minus the byte coins you spend to make the uh, to make the potion. And we haven't calculated the magic cauldrons, and maybe we are going to do some math to calculate how many potions do we need to make to get back our byte coins from spending the uh, magic cauldron so yeah that is what we are going to do all right the black metal is ready and i am going to harvest all of this tree okay we are finished and let's see how many blocks okay 351 and we got 16 seeds maybe we should ignore this one Okay, so I have finished calculating this stuff and what you see here is um, It costs 750 byte coins to get the one 100 iron block sheets and It only costs 125 byte coins to get 100 black brick sheets because it The price is actually 200 200 per 250 byte coins because we only need 100 to make 100 trees um, It's only half in its price and the total is 875 byte coins to make 100 black metal trees and So we got uh, 350 blocks. So 875 byte coins divided by 350 it costs exactly 2.5 byte coins so one black metal sheet is worth um, 2.5 byte coins and now we know the price to make this thing it costs 2.5 this one is one byte coins let's say and this costs um, two byte coins i think two one and 2.5 so in total it's 5.5 right 5.5 byte coins so 5.5 and we actually get 8.5 8 byte coins every nether key potion so 8.5 minus 5.5 that's 3 byte coins oh my god that's a lot of potions that's a lot of potions um, which means we have to make 150 potions to make 450 byte coins profit but this thing only happen if you don't make potions during the event um, it only costs you 5.5 byte coins to make a potion, right? If you make it during the double potion, 8.8 um, times 2, that's 17 byte coins. 17 byte coins uh, minus 5.5, that's about 12 byte coins. 
So 450 divided by 12 bitcoins, 37 portions. Only 37 portions. Because if you make it during the cauldron, cauldron event, you make 12 bitcoins profit every time you recycle it during the recycle event as well. And you only need 37 potions. And if in one day you can only make like 4 potions, 4 potions from one magic cauldron, that means you need 9 days, guys. 9 days to get back the uh, magic cauldron that you have spent. And. If you don't want to spend too much on the magic cauldron, there is there is a way to make it cheaper. You know, the the point is that you only need the magic cauldrons, right? So it is okay to buy um place the magic cauldron that other player usually sell it for cheaper. They usually sell magic cauldron farm that is already placed of of course and it only costs up to 300 byte coins each. So yeah, you don't really have to buy the magic cauldron from the pixel exchange. You can you can also buy it uh, from other other player that is already placed in the in their farm world, and so yeah, that's just make it cheaper. And the last thing I want to show you is the schedule of the potion boost event and the recycle event. So mini event and find the potion boost potion boost so the potion boost is coming um on 8th of april and the please recycle event is going to start on 29th of april so yeah i guess that's all i want to share with you guys and i hope you guys can consider this as your profit um other than buying basic cloth pack you know because it's also profitable and if you if you already have magic cauldrons on your farm world or something, uh, that is really really good opportunity to make profit because it's much better than the buying basic cloth pack. Because if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, every every time you buy pack, you only make like one or two byte coins profit every time you buy pack and then recycle them um, during the event, but this is much better this is much better so yeah this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye